Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to make 4 on a row or connect 4. I'm going to use Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express. I already set up my Windows Forms project. So what I'm going to do first is create a folder called stuff. In here I'm going to put everything related to the um, project that we're going to need except for the form. So first, I'm going to make a panel box. This is just a um, extension from the panel. So it inherits panel. And it has one property more. So type property and press tab. Now I'm going to use it. Used as boolean. And used with capital U. And we need one more thing, a user control called grid. Change the size of grid to 400 by 400. Why? I'm going to tell you why you're going to see that um, in the codes. Why? So what we want to do now is type a public sub new. Oops. New. Now you can see initializes, and now we want to add a second initializer when we created our cells. We show a error and generate method stop. Now here I'm going to make public grid 8 by 8 two dimensional array as box um, panel box and now in initialize we want to initialize this two dimensional array so I'm going to pu public columns as integer equals 8 so the columns is um, the x coordinates public um, rows as integer equals 8 so we got this and then here we got our columns equals x rows equals y So just you can see that. Yes, you can see that. So what we want to do in initialize, we want to go through each column first, and at each column we want to go through each row and um, initialize each item in here. So how we're gonna do that is with the for loop for x x as integer equals zero to columns minus one for y as integer equals zero to rows minus one okay now we want to do grids x y equals new panel box grid x y dot size equals new size um, 50 by 50 grid x y dot location equals new point and now the point we want to be see here we got 0 0 for x and y coordinates so it will start in the top like oops it will go like right here yes still good 
and then we got like here, here, something like that. So what we want to do now is the location will be when it's one, like um, zero times fifty is still zero. When it goes to the next column, we want to just um, be put it next to the other. So when time fifty is fifty. So we're gonna do x times fifty and y times fifty. So if you count now, fifty times eight should be four hundred, and that's our size. So it fits in right. Now we set up our location, our size. I create an instance of each item we want to add them. So um, me dot controls dot add grid x y. Um, and normally now when we rebuild the project should get something great in here edit and now run it oh yeah we didn't add a color to them so you can't see them really well let's say for example we set um, grid xy dot back color equals red and then randomly here on the loads we set grid dot grid let's say five five dot back color equals black so there should be one black normally yes five five so five to here and five down I'm going to remove that and this as well going to make it just light, light gray. I think that should be good. Yes. And now to make it look better, you can set here on the set new. You can set this dot. Um, I mean me dot. Border style equals um, fixed single. I think it was. Let's check it out. See, now we got the nice grid. So now we want to create the um, a box here so you can drop them down. We also need to create our player and our um, and yourself to be played so I'm going to create a panel panel here it is a panel I'm going to put it here just give it a name so it's easier to remember And now we want to add buttons for each of them and create a handler. So I'm going to do that on the let's say load events. Sub um, creates buttons. So now we want to create a button. Then button as new button button dot text equals click me or something um, button dot location is going to be the same but instead it's going to be oh 
we need to create a for loop in here for um, i as integer equals 0 to grid one dot grid dot um, not grids but columns minus one Now this code goes in here. Now we got button location is equals new point. Um, as you can see here, x y. So x coordinates will always be zero. No, they will be i times fifty, and this one will be zero. I think. Let's check it out. Oh, I forgot to add them. Um, um, panel buttons dot controls dot adds button. And they do not show up because we didn't add a size. Button dot size equals 50 times 50. Um, new size 50 50 and for some reason they are not showing up let me just check it out why oh I already see it I forgot to add the create buttons so we got a nice button, but nothing happens when you press on it. Yet. I'm going to add these together. Now, before we want to add them, we want to make sure it has a handler. So, add handler, click, address off, and now we got nothing here. So, sub. we're still in the create button sub so we got out of there and sub um, button click um, sender as object e as um, does it have click event arcs I don't think so event arcs let me just see if shows up a error um, that's good yes so now we can say like then I'm going to do one more thing here button dot tag equals y Dim um, clicked button as button equals cost type of sender to button, and now we can do dim um, click it column as integer equals um, clicked button dot tag. Message box um, Let me just check this out zero four seven Okay that's correct So as you can see it works So now what we want to do is, when we press this, we want to create in the grids a check sub sub check um, 
no, not going to add um what should we call it? Add item and the item is going to be add item at column int column as integer for y as integer to um, column rows Um, in the column y if um, no this will be starting at 7 rows going to be rows minus one as you want to check from the bottom to the top because if I was going to do if it is not used we're going to um, color everyone but better if you started at bottom um, rows to zero um, make sure you now add step minus one so we know he has to be going minus one every time because by default it goes plus one so now we can do a grid and column y um, I mean if grid dot int column comma y dot used equals true um, false then we want to give it a custom color and I think it's better if we make this a function public function as boolean return false if it is used false you want to set it to be grids int column y dot used true grids int column wait a second I'm just going to give it x as that is way smaller to type y dot um, back color equals color and that should be it return true so now let's check it out if we press it we want to do grid dot Add item add column clicked column let's say red Okay, so it's all working. So 
what we want to do now is after we added the column we want to add like players so we know which one got each color we want to check if it is four on a row which is pretty hard to do so add item at column oh so here we want to as it is a boolean we want to give it then the if this is false we do not want to change it and else next player but as we don't have players yet it doesn't matter so I'm going to make a new item where is it? Interface, interface. Mm, I don't see a interface, Let me just see class. Where did interface go? Okay, let's just type iPlayer. make it interface now it's a interface so in here we want to have a name as string Um, I mean property name as string what do we want more property color as color um, is there anything else except for name and color nope I don't think so so here in the main, we want to make a public array, public um, players, and it's going to be array of one as i player. Now this will never be initialized, so I'm going to add a new form form login call it whatever you want doesn't really matter we do add a button a label and text box I'm going to pause it here so I can make the form So I am back, I just um, renamed some things like text player 1, text player 2, button start and stuff like that. So what we want to do now is we want to create a player, well two players, um, but I think I'm going to let that for the next tutorial. <laughs> 